Hello everyone. Yeah, welcome to my page, Timo Starboy Reality Talk TV. Yeah, I greet you at your location time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And for those people who have already sleeping, good night. Yeah, so we are about to start our program now. Yeah, happy Tuesday. And happy Easter to the Christianity, Christendom. Um, I hope everything is well. So, um, as you can see, our title of today, Nigeria leader, they are very greedy and they are very, very wicked people, you know. So, you know, I think um, to uh, Monday, the president of Nigeria, uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, spoke. He spoke uh, to Nigeria people about what is going on in security in the country. So he talks about um, the hunger. So me, for my own suggestion here, I think this man, I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, so we'd like to hear from him. I will play you the video now so everybody can listen attentively and listen to what he's saying. Yeah, so let's go. Let me take you there. Pa pa pa. So, Eja Kashi pa pa pa. This is the video. It's right here. So, listen to the president of Nigeria, uh, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. Yeah, let's go. Chief of Staff. President General of the yeah, members of Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs and the Secretary General of Khan and other clergies that are here. Chairman and members of the traditional rulers, Kabyesi. See as people respond. Mm. You see something is going on. My dear friend and a very good leader for that matter. Standing for Sultan, the Emir of Sabza. Thank you. All of the religious leaders here present. I've enjoyed a very good dinner. <laughs> you enjoy indeed. Whereby a lot of people, a lot of millions of people, they are hunger. They are hunger in the country, but listening to what president was saying, is enjoying the meal. So that is show that the leader of Nigeria, you know, the attitude is can enjoy the meal, but people are hunger. Let's continue. To all the senior government officials, I send my respect and regard and the the Emir whose kingdom gave me Jagaban <laughs> right here. To all of you, I say thank you very much. I didn't expect this great turnout. I'm grateful. There is a unique opportunity 
in our getting together that is reflective of the diversity of this country. Various religious leaders, the Christian, the Islamic leaders, getting together to share a meal, to extend the spirit of togetherness. to show understanding of our nation, of our culture, the diversity, the richness, the courage of the nation. That's what you are. Our conscience, our common heritage, Then what is left? You give us courage as political leaders to move on. To think and perform. To really care and love this country. The way you get up to pray for Nigeria the method you use is one nation. The change of mindset that is needed to build a country of love, perseverance, resiliency, and goodness. It is our country. I told a congressman from America yesterday and I said, oh, thank you for allowing me to study in your country. But I won't want to come back to live there, hibernate. This is a lovely country, Nigeria. The country that uh, Mr. Ashiwaju Bola met to Numbu condemned, that is no, is no one nation. Say there is, there is no Nigeria before, but now he know is his country. Can you imagine that? <laughs> there is a laughable in his speech. So let's continue. Hmm. The love we share, each other's neighborhood, extension of love, is a community. Yes, we are challenged. That is true. No nation that is not currently challenged one way or the other. <laughs> but it is with God-given talent hmm. and resolve of all of us to oh, say smart, smart, smart. that we will overcome the challenges and turn it to prosperity. You can see. By the grace of God. The grace of God, indeed. We will. Continue fooling yourself. We will turn it around. This country that yes, is already dead. Very good bright light at the end of the tunnel. People are, cla they are clapping blindly. Some People are just clapping blindly. They don't know what they are clapping for. This country is already dead and they don't want to listen. And we can prove them wrong. Let's continue. Please listen in and share this program. Let it go viral. Thank you. Somewhere in the height of the storm, Continue fooling. It's some corner of calmness mm. and joy for those who we serve with faith and determination. Mm. We've seen 
the challenges of food security. Yes, many nations go through it. Some of those prosperous nations today, if they look back, they will find in the history of their nation bloods on their snows. A fourth battery to be what they are. Maybe our weather that is beautiful, mm. our land that is rich, mm. Mm. our parents that is loving. Continue as police. My guys. Oh, Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Please continue listening and sharing. Who is fooling who at this junction? That is the question of today. Who is fooling who? They didn't win us early enough from breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> so, every minute we have to spare our day. Cry of hunger. We didn't forget our childhood. But we will believe in the prosperity and the love and care of that woman, the mother, Nigeria. So, I'm with you. No matter what degree of lamentation is. My own is don't give up. <laughs> give up. Don't give up. As it's long as it, we don't. The as Mr. President is telling us not to give up on Nigeria that is already dead. Can you imagine? Let's continue. <laughs> Let's continue watching the, the drama. The long that we are determined the to long change drama. our country. It is our own to change. Nobody. No, all oh, this thing. America, Britain, France, and others. Mm. <laughs> the man doesn't they know what he's talking about. Please, better let, than let ourselves. Us, please, let us know your comment. Just drop your comment below. We want to know what your opinion is about this uh, addressing from Mr. President. And if we get there, some of you are going to, you know, only primitive and make her, and you see the glittering of lights and everything. Hmm. Yes, we I'm, have I'm it. just we catching cold. <laughs> you go to Dubai. I'm catching cold with this address. And all of that. Oh my God. Yes. We can do it. We can drive on good roads. We can do it. Like they have on their infrastructure. Can you do we it can well? We have education mm. that is first class. Mm. Nigerians are respected. We we'll give you the assurance. Mouth. As a government. Only mouth, no action. That you will be Only our talk. priority. But not because of you. It's just because of your children. Hmm. Can you think Who that? We hand over to. Do you know about that, Mr. President? Do you know what Share you are talking about? With us. Believe in the understanding of temporary challenges. Yes. So much you. Nigeria is strong, has a good reputation across the world. Mm -hmm. No military men respect us better than we respect ourselves. No terrorist. Mm. No terrorist. No terrorist. And defeat our spirit. No terrorist. But you haven't taken any step to demolish terrorists, to demolish um, Boko Haram. To demolish bandits, 
to eradicate all these uh, kidnappers. You know, who is fooling who? My brothers and sisters. Let's continue. No matter how bad the target, the soft target. You know, going to the backyard of a of a school in, in Korega and evacuating some children and giving the wrong figures. It doesn't defeat us. Mm. It doesn't. Mm. 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 We have together, <laughs> bond together. <laughs> And deal with them. This man is making me laugh. Only yesterday, no action. I was at the Taken. funeral service of the 17 heroes of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Be buried. So, what can you do about that? Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm sorry about this uh, distraction. So, Mr. President, what can you do about that? Insecurity. Is a major problem in Nigeria, but you haven't resolved that. You haven't resolved anything about that. So why are you deceiving us? Why are you deceiving us, Mr. President? This is a question I don't know and I don't have any answer to it. Maybe you guys can help me at the common session. Kids, their lives. Let's continue here, sir. Please share, share, share. The love of the nation is in your hand. The prayer hmm. is in your mind. Hmm. The prayer. Pray for our country. Can the prayer can solve the problem? Educate our children. Another question. All the members of our church and mosque. Hmm. The sermon we give to them is important. We don't condemn your own nation. It's already dead, my brother. My, my, my Jagaban. The Yoruba man. No prayer and can help you. see, no matter how slippery the bottom of your child, mm. leave the bead there. <laughs> leave the bead there. <laughs> This is your country. Don't call this, this is a wrong parable, Mr. Jagaban. This is a wrong parable. <laughs> Leave the bid for where? Nigeria is never happened in any way. In any way, in any way. So stop deceiving us. We have already shined our face. We know what's up. We know what is going on. We know what's up. They meet in sermons. Don't abuse the nation. Wrong parable. Leadership has meant for changes. Mm. Many people are suffering now. They are not, they are not eating their food. Yes, this they are not eating their three meals square. No three meals square eating every day. There is no electricity, there is no good road, there is no hospital, there is no water. And you are telling me that we should be praying until when? Until when? Until we change. Please, my Yoruba nation agitators, my Yoruba nation brothers and sisters, let's focus on our own way. This man has nothing to say. He has no, he has no saying. He's just pretending until he's finished his own term. And another one will come and will start all over again. So they are just playing games. They are very greedy and very wicked. So I'm just pleading to my Yoruba fellow. Let's rise up on our two feet and start moving. Let's change our life by ourselves. Let's change it for good. Don't listen to this, all these jargons. Wait until it's time to renew his mandate renew. and say no. But don't condemn your country. It's not country. We condemn it. Don't curse Nigeria. <laughs> it's a beautiful land. He said don't curse Nigeria. 
Can you hear that? Does Nigeria exist anymore? Eh? Are we in a one nation? So please help me. Help me on the uh, comment section. Please put your suggestion there. You are welcome. Guys. Land of prosperity. Anyway, I will leave it to you. I will leave it to you guys. So what you suggest. So please help me in the comment section. Because for this uh, uh, meeting, for this man uh, speech, me, I don't grab anything tangible. I don't grab anything sensitive. Because it's already everything that they come up to say. It's all about lies. It's all about deceit. You know, it's all about greediness for their own sake. You know, for their own benefit. It's not for us. It is not for all of us. Now the man said that he, he satisfied with what he had. You know, for food, maybe pre breakfast or lunch, whatever he eat. I don't know. But many millions of Nigeria. They never even eat a one square meal. So think about that. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. I will be right back. Thanks. Bye.